Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of StarCraft, where I take you through the missions and how to get the achievements. Today's mission is Temple of Unification, and the achievements for this mission are Temple of Unification, complete the mission. Lock down tight. Take a lock within the first six minutes and hold it for the duration of the mission on normal. Temple of Doom. Destroy the Titanic Warp Prism in less than ten minutes. This mission is actually pretty simple because basically there's a rhythm to this mission and the way it works is basically you wait until they send an attack. After you defeat the attack, you take a lock and then hold that lock until they send another attack. Then you take another lock and hold those locks until they send another attack and then hold those locks and then you just continue on in that sort of uh, basically holding pattern because they the attacks work in a very pattern like way so as long as you know the pattern you can just sit there and easily defend now the other thing is knowing the pattern on which basis to take the easiest way I found is to take the middle one first then take the bottom left then bottom right then take out the warp prism then take out the top left and the top right and that's usually the easiest way I found to basically the rhythm of this mission so basically what you do is you build up your your army build a defense at your home base wait for them to attack then you take the middle base put a defense on that one wait for them to attack then you attack the bottom left, put a defense on that one, wait for them to attack, and then attack the bottom right, and so on and so forth. The hardest part is probably catching the warp prism, because it does patrol back and forth, because it appears in the top middle, it, it, it appears in between those top two, ba two locks, and basically it'll patrol back and forth between those two locks and you have to catch it when it's either in between those locks or over on one of the uh, locks itself I suggest catching it in the middle because it's easier to deal with and you don't have extra forces you're having to defend against and because you are going to be playing a very defensive game it, the forge is a must for this camp for this mission Also, don't do like I did and not take the expansion. <laughs> I, I don't know why I didn't take it in this mission, but it just makes things a lot easier because one, it's more minerals to put out more defenses and more army. Two, it's just smart to have your expanse, but for some reason I never even really looked at it in this mission. <laughs> And again, the pylon with troop deployment from your Spear of Adun is probably the best to go with because it's the most economical because it basically means that you get about 550 minerals and about 50 to 100 gas free worth of troops and supply. So. It's just too bad you don't have the actual focuser that you do for, because Carex is the he's one of the commanders for the co-op missions and he has a focuser that basically allows him to upgrade the Spear of Adun while he, he's at his base and basically what it does is it increases the energy production of the Spear of Adun so you can use it more often. comes 
first attack. We should be moving out here pretty soon. And there the warp prism just appeared. And as you can see, yeah, it patrols back and forth across those top locks up there. But if you catch it in the middle, it doesn't have a lot of basically defensive units around it, so. And here I'm setting up the home base defense. And this is another reason why you should take the expanse, because for one, it's just so much easier to put up defenses if you have that extra base. And as you can see, the middle base is very lightly defended, so it's the easiest to take. Man, I wish the locks charged that fast in the co-op missions. Yeah, in the co-op missions, basically these locks charge really slow, plus you need both armies to be present to basically gain ac uh, to unlock the lock, or lock the lock, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> now basically you hold here, and then you wait until the attack comes, and then you move out again. And as you can see, the warp prism is very defended, so it's it's defended a lot on its own, so you don't want to have to push your way through another force, then push your way through the warp prism's defenses on itself, because you'll lose way too much doing that. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to take the warp prism, because it's because of the time limit requirement, I have to take it within the first 10 minutes, I believe. It's like, come here, you! And I don't think I grab it this... I don't think I grab it this patrol because it actually gets away from me. Yeah, there it goes. But I do manage to take out its escort, so... Basically, all I have to do is wait for it to patrol back and then take that out. And also, if you put this defensive cannon, st cannon structure at each of the locks, they can usually defend the lock by themselves with that. comes the prism back across, and my troops are ready for it. And the prism itself does have a decent amount of health, but that's not what makes it dangerous. You have to manage to take it out because it's a warp prism, and it will basically summon other units. So. You have to be careful on that. And as you can see, I didn't set up a decent defense at the base, so I'm already getting having to pull troops back to defend it. And this, this mission was done before I knew the pattern that you should take, so... 
I do believe I get caught out of position a few times because I have to go defend a lock before it gets taken. Which is why I was saying, y you must know the pattern to this mission before you start this mission because it's it just makes it a whole lot easier because I don't follow the pattern to this mission and it gives me a lot of headache because I try to take the middle, the bottom left, then the bottom or top left, then try to take the right side and it just gives me a headache because basically if you try to push from the bottom from my bottom side to the top there's a big line of defense in there and yes you can go straight across to it but there will be a lot of resistance in between there so it's just easier to basically go back through the middle and then go up and take the base from that direction Also, it's probably not a good idea to move out of of a lock before it has a defense set up. <laughs> I set this one up too close to whatever that is. So it's going to mess with the arrangement of my structures. <laughs> Yeah, and when placing the pylon for your defensive structures, try to put it at a point where it can cover all entrances. Yeah, the other reason you want to take the bottoms first is because you don't want to be moving your troops around and have them walking into one of the, basically, enemy bases. Yeah, as you can see, they're already trying to, starting to try to take the uh, lock back over there. And don't forget, if you have st uh, stalkers in your army, make sure you blink them a lot, especially in combat, because they have a shield regeneration if you blink them. Yeah, I think the thing that made this mission the diff most difficult for me is because I never took that expansion down there. I mean, you can see it on the map, but for some reason I never took it during this mission. <laughs> I had to come back and do it again a couple of times and then managed to take... Um, each time it was easier because I took the expansion early on. And yeah... As you can see, um, I keep getting caught down there on that, that bottom part. My troops keep trying to run across there and basically they keep getting intercepted. But hey. I think I just now realized there's an expansion down here. <laughs> it's like, what? Uh, oh. Well... <laughs> bit late in the mission anyways. Didn't need it. <laughs> and 
now I'm going to take the last block. <laughs> I'm like, no, that supply depot must die. Well guys, there you have it. That's how to get this mission and all the achievements. If y'all liked what y'all saw, give me a like, comment, and a share. If y'all didn't, I mean, I appreciate negative comments just as well as good comments. And you feel free to give it a negative comment. That's, that's okay too, and a dislike. Uh, but anyways, if y'all like what y'all saw, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.